So who are the decision makers? Who are you all going to be reaching out to to uh, get this change, uh, uh, to get more teams added, to get more scholarship dollars and get more better treatment for men and women is who are the decision makers? One is the Department of Education, the Office for Civil Rights, as I was saying, they, they are essentially like the police. It's their job to go out and make sure that schools are complying. Um, they will respond to individual complaints, but they pretty much want uh, the whole case completely done. Um, then we look at sports governing bodies, okay? So you all know that you have the NCAA, the NAI, junior colleges, Christian colleges, et cetera, all these different athletic conferences, these college athletic conferences. If they wanted to, very easily, they could say, if you want to be a member of our, of our, net, of our, um, of the NCAA or of, say, the, um, you know, um, the, the, the conference, you have to be in compliance with Title IX. You cannot discriminate based on sex. But guess what? They don't want to because nobody wants to be the bad guy. They don't want to be the police. They want to just go out there and make more money. So, uh, uh, so th that those are decision makers. Then at the schools, you've got the presidents, the athletic director, general counsel, Title IX coordinators. You've got the Office of Diversity and Inclusion, and you've got donors. And then lastly, we have Congress. So we have all these, those are all sort of targets on who can we sort of get to, to uh, get this change here. 